Welcome to part 51 of Let's Play Dragon Force. Marauder EX. At this point, I guess taking over the world. Half the world at this point is under my control. I've pretty much decimated the, uh, the Trandor Kingdom. And Topaz isn't doing much better. First, I've got a Dragon Man to take care of. And then, Reinhardt himself. In the meantime, though, Stalwart Castle is going to be attacked. Probably a lot. Alex, generic magician general versus Gollum. Really, does it take a rocket scientist to figure out who's going to win this one? Mages, you use the typical disperse tactic. For shits and giggles, I uh, I was testing out sending troops just rushing mages and seeing how really how many losses you can hope to uh, avoid, and really you. you take a lot more damage than you'd think if you just try to rush mages. Uh, according to the instruction manual, mages have a very low combat capability, but really it's kind of amazing how damaging they can be when you try to rush them head on. Now granted, if you try to rush them head on, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, one of these videos I'll, I'll show it just to give you an idea of go in with, you know, someone with 100 troops versus someone with, like, less than 50 mages. Did you see how much, how many losses you take just rushing them? It's amazing. It's like archers are the same way. Both are categorized as, you know, low combat capability, but they're effective against, you know, either flying or undead. Apparently mages are pretty good against monks, too, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I can't find my original strategy yet. I'm not sure where it's disappeared to. I was able to download a PDF of it, but... kind of irritated that I don't know where my actual strategy... or where my actual, uh... instruction manual went. Like, I, I never kept the, the Sega Saturn game boxes. They were just... they were huge. They were easily breakable. I shattered them by accident a lot of the times, because, really, they were designed poorly. But I always made sure to keep the manuals, because you never knew, you know, when you need the instruction manual. And dialogue with Zato. You find out he's been ordered by someone to kill the Dragon Force. And he starts off with me, and that's pretty much the end of it. Granted, we wouldn't even have known about Zato if we didn't go after Vangel, so I mean, it is kind of a redundant story. Again, the story to this game is, you know, kind of shoddily pieced together. And Vangel has to be the one to go into this fight. Uh, you don't really have much of a say in it. You can retreat. At least I think you can retreat and then go in with another one of your generals. But, as long as you gave Vangel a couple of awards to increase his troop count, this is not a hard fight. Uh, Zato, unlike most other generals, he just recovers HP just by standing there. So the half damage that I did to him in his last fight uh, has 
healed itself. He has not, however, replenished his troops of rock, so he's still just by himself. But if you did not give Vangel any troops, it would have been ten dragon men versus Zato, which would have been over in all of about five seconds. He also has not replenished his MP, so you can use that to your advantage. If you want, you can pretty much just stall and use Flame Cannon five times, and that'll do a decent chunk of damage to him. Now granted, that's... It's a very slow strategy. Do that five times. It will, I don't think that'd kill him, but it, it put a decent chunk of damage on him. I'll watch as he cuts through my dragon men. And it wasn't supposed to happen, but it did because he's a failure. If he were an intelligent general, he would have taken over one of my other castles, replenished his troops and his MP, and then actually have been a big fight for me. And what the hell is Ortega doing there? He's... we kind of left him in a castle, like, in the third video, and never saw him again. Alright, we have now taken over. Well, we've not taken over, but we've taken out one of the story missions, and... We're gonna get attacked again by Trandor. You sense a reoccurring theme. And it's Neil, who looks surprisingly like Alex. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were twins. I mean, really. Come on, this is... Apparently in the remake of Dragon Force for the PS2 in the Sega Ages collection, they did go through and redo a lot of the, uh, the portraits. So I don't know if they reused the portraits as many times. Um, they redid a lot of the artwork for it. So. But we'll never know, because it was never ported to the US, and at this point the PS2 is a dead system. I mean, they've got a couple of games coming out uh, through the end of the year, but... It's, it's pretty much game over for that system. And it's not a bad thing, I mean, it had a great run. Fantastic run. But still, I, I really don't think we're going to see it. Unless it becomes available for the PlayStation Network, which if it does, I would be all over that. That would be awesome. That would actually be a, a reason for me to buy a, a PS3. Or, hell, even uh, make it PSP compatible. Either or, I'd be fine with that. I need me some more use out of my PSP. Alright, Neil's pretty much dead, so I'm gonna cut the video here because I'm I'm over my at this point. So I will uh, see you all in part 52. Take it easy, y'all.